Okay, so. Really not much for us here, actually, thinking about it. Let's just get what we can a little bit. Even though they're garbage. Siege this. We should. Yeah, this this is actually going to kill their entire fleet. And every... Yeah, so that's kind of crazy. But they did just take that town from us, so... A little bit of a misstep on our part. Losing it. That was what we ended... That's where we ended last week. Thanks, no worries. Uh, so yeah, but basically as well, for those, again, not in the know, how this works is I have 10 minutes to do my turn, do what I want to do. And then Jackie has his 10 minutes, and then if we have any battles, we fight them out. And eventually, we'll kind of get close enough to each other where we'll decide to go to war. And it'll be two big empires attacking each other and doing everything we can to defeat each other. But for now, uh, we're still not quite at war. Jackie is expanding in Anatolia, aka Turkey, it seems. And I'm trying to just finish off Italy. And Rome own occupy currently most of Greece and the Balkans, so that's the current situation. Uh, I'm a little afraid of staying in this town, to be honest. I'd like to just sit on the outskirts so we have at least a way of getting away, should we need to. I don't know if they've got any more fleets and ships and stuff that might come around. And we are currently building our own fleet, right? Yeah. Now, we just destroyed the main fleet, so I've, I reckon now's the point at which we could probably come up there and be okay. We're going to have rebellions, though. So what I'm going to do is bring this up to here, and then we'll recruit a few ships on the way up. Actually, the reason I was down here was to get the population down here. It's interesting. I wonder which one it will pull the population from. Can we see who Jackie's at war with? Yeah, I'll have a look at that just in a sec. I'll be done in about a minute, and then we'll have a look around. What have I got? Balearic Slingers, and then these dudes. I don't know if I should go with some archers. I feel like I should, instead of relying all on Balearics. So we can just build the three ships to make our fleet a little bit bigger. Um, currently, Jackie is at war with quite a lot. So, Sinope, Maine. So these are Arabian. Sinope is in Turkey. Pirates, Pergamon. Uh, oh, Armenia. Armenia are actually huge. So that's a big that's a big person for him to be at war with and Pergamon. So he's in the thick of it out here. And then Sinope as well. So he's at war with pretty much all this, I would imagine. Except for Rhodes. He's not at war with Rhodes. He pieced them out not too long ago. Alright. See, I kind of wanted to go up here, but I guess not. So you're saying bait them into attacking here. Don't help them, and they should lose their fight. The problem is they've got another army, so if they bring up this other one as well, they'll just take it. I'd rather not help them and let them try to fight it on their own. I guess I guess that's the only other option though, right? Is to at least try to seem like we're helping them or I could go down here and go into patrol stance and avoid a rebellion which I think is probably a good idea we don't have any other armies that could do that right now we also need to start raising a new army to be honest can you make a statue as well repay them to break away might as well try it you don't lose anything I don't want to do it right now maybe next turn just not right now can you see if you can trade with more people uh nope we did that in the right the last turn we started trading with someone out east i can't remember who it was but we have max trade deals right now um so that's all good some people some people we don't have trading but they just won't do it like so Okay, well, at least we're not going to have a rebellion this turn, so we can wait. We can wait one turn. So I'll come over here. If they want to fight and want me to help them, I'll say no. They're my client. I don't think they're going to break away if I say no or anything, but we'll have to see. And then I just need to do building, I guess. Could make this food central, Taurus. Or, um, Italia. I wanted to do it for replenishment, actually, yeah, so maybe we'll just do that temporarily. Okay, whoa, how much is that? 5,000? Probably would have been good to raid. Can we raid? I don't know if we get anything doing this, considering that they're being sieged. Uh, okay, I think that's pretty much it. There's not much else we can do. I need to raise a new army, though, uh, next turn, because our army got wiped. We should have at least four or five.
Sorry, where is she? Oh, she's right there. That was a stupid thing to get then, actually. Actually, you know what? Let's just hop off. She's giving public order to the local province. There we go. So we're gaining public order now. Alright. Let's end it there. Uh, you gonna push into Greece? Well, I'm at war with Rome, so it seems like the logical place to go. I'd actually like to go north, but, um, and get some of the territories just above us. Uh, but behind the Alps. You know, and take out maybe Massalia. But, um... I feel like it would be silly to let Greece... I think we should throw our hat into the ring for Greece, because obviously Seleucids are right next to it. Seleucids have Gnosis, and that that's part of this, this area down here. So we could at least throw our hat into the ring for Apollonia, Larissa, and Pella. And work our way up the coastlines as well. And that way we could really station our fleet here. And they'd be a lot safer. Be able to protect it. Be able to protect like this entry point. So that if the Seleucids, if we do go to war with Seleucids, they're not just going to come up and like just auto-resolve our coastal towns. You know, that's our real vulnerability in, in um, Italy. Is you're so vulnerable to a navy. We need like a strong navy. Told you they'd go up here. Fuck them. Told you. All their generals are like six stars. They always are. Man. Can't hold on to a fucking town. In Italy. <laughs> right, we need to bring the navy up. Oh my god, did they use their navy again? Yeah, I mean, there's there's like nothing I could do. I said it at the end of the turn. I was like, they're just going to bring these six ships up there. This, I don't have a garrison. So there's nothing I can do. I mean, oh, this is just going to keep happening until I until I um get my navy up there now. We actually just defeated their large navy that... Remember you used it against me in the town? So it was trapped in the town when we defeated it. So I don't think Rome has a navy anymore. At least not where I can see them. So my navy is yeah. going to come up now and that'll be the end of it. That's so frustrating, though. Yeah, well, I'm not building anything in the towns because um this keeps happening. Like, I'm just going to go back and take a next turn. Like, this just keeps happening. But I think this is the last time. Liberating Iadar and Dutch. Uh, yeah. just liberated Ethos from me, for fuck's sake. Oh, nice. Oh, shit, we can't get there because it's winter. Goddamn. Oh, I just assumed we could. Shit. That's frustrating. And Syracuse are still, uh, sieging away. What did Jackie say that we've... Let's have a look. So faction destroyed Sakarauka, okay? Satrapy established the Seleucids and Garamantia, okay. That's frustrating. It's actually a really good get for him, though. So these guys are now Jackie's Satrapy. Avski liberated the Rutini. Faction rises. Pamphylian city states. Pergamon liberated Pamphylian city states and Ephesus. Oh. That's pretty cool. That should slow him down a little bit. He's got more to deal with over there, unless he just gets them as satrapies. Oh, I don't know what to do. What technology do I push for? Do I push for that tech that gets me those, like, in five turns? It would get me the ability to build a mercenary barracks. How long would a mercenary barracks take? 16 turns? Fucking hell. What an investment. Yeah, sure. We don't really have the food to be expanding town, so I guess we'll go with that. Trade with them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, we haven't found them, because that makes sense. Wonder what Garamantia. I don't know why they don't like me. I've never been at war with them. Broken treaties with them. Oh, we did break all our treaties because we thought we would go to war with them, but we didn't. Um, hmm... Well, I don't know. I think I think it might be time to start building up that army. I still don't want to build in Italy yet. What's happening? Why, why is that happening? Still don't really want to build over here yet because we might lose the town. Who knows? So I have to wait. We could patrol to make them slightly less happy or slightly more happy. 
And in terms of the politics, we can easily send another organized games that way. <clears throat> Jesus. Build up Rome then? Well, I'm just thinking, what I'd, I'd rather get the army. So I'll start building army first. We have 10 grand. We're making 10 grand. We have a fleet here. Can we build anything into that yet? No. That's actually pretty powerful. Oh, I should have just gotten that straight away. Damn. Okay, well. Um, yeah, so let's start building into his army again. Oh, yeah, the chariots. They're crazy. And how, how expensive they are. They come from the Libby Phoenicians, those ones. I need to get them out. All right, cool. Six units. We need to expand those towns over there as well. So what else do I need to move? You're good. You're good. You're good. Good. All right. Having Garamante, Garamante on your back is scary. Yeah. Well, kind of. I mean, yeah. It's it's actually perfect for him. We were saying that he should have taken that himself when he was at war with them. Jackie, that is. But now he doesn't even have to deal with converting the culture. He can just walk through their lands and attack us from somewhere if he wanted to. That's always going to be a problem now. It's a huge gain for him, actually. To be within, you know, two towns distance from our capital. Like, how are we going to get to Antioch? No idea. Whereas he can now literally just walk to here. Walk all the way up to here. And just push up. And then these towns are just going to be destroyed, obviously by navies. And and this is more. I don't know how we can win this. <laughs> this head to head because our this is our most valuable province. And these these being coastal, his navy. Unless our navy can really assert dominance, which is so going to be so important for us. Um, I don't know how we can defend those towns <laughs> when it comes to it. To me, it looks smaller, more appealing to my eyes. The newer ones with pop is closer or bigger picture. When I don't like. Much I still play them though. Uh, there is a way to attack Garamanti without bringing Jackie in because they have military alliance with the Numidians in Capsa, so you can attack them instead of and only bring Garamanti in. Yeah, but that would you know that would basically effectively Jackie would probably go to war with me after because of that I would imagine. Really interested to see if these guys will actually attack. Oh, the Syracusian navy is moving up as well. Oh my God! Please don't take, please don't take Arminum with the navy. That would be the worst. Syracuse used to own it before. I bet, they, I bet they will. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> Damn. I gotta just kill Syracuse. We're not a, allied with these guys. We are trading with them though. I might cancel that trade. And begin the uh, attack on Sicily. You attack them, you're bringing in the uh, Syracuse though, I think. Because they, they're allied. Even though Syracuse is our client. Alright, let's see what they do. I have a feeling that Navy's gonna go up there. They will. Here we go. Syracuse's turn. Uh, oh shit, they went up and they lost. They actually lost. And that fleet gained experience. Oh, but they did take Taurus though. And now they're crossing. Wow. Wow. And that's transports. They're just heading straight over there. We can bring our fleet up in Siege of Polonia though. At least that way, if they attack. If they land. Uh, at least we're claiming it first. So we might have to do that just to prevent them from taking it next turn. Oh no, Rose declared war on me this time. <laughs> That's fucking scary. That's uh, pretty much all of Anatolia then, isn't it? It's Pergamon, Rhodes, and Armenia, yeah, right? I, mean, I don't really care about anyone else. It's just Rhodes have four full stacks in their one city. <laughs> so nice. that's kind of scary. I bet you could just like piece them out. They'll probably be your client or something. Well, I mean, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but my 
I I've been piecing out, like, in all my peace treaties, my vassals have been, you know, because obviously we're at war and we don't like it, but I'm making peace with people. Oh, and yeah. our relationships are deteriorating. So it's, and now Pon Pontic Usurp, so I'm at war with the, entire, the entirety of Asia Minor now. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> That's not good. He's getting too many enemies? Maybe. I mean, he's, he's at war with Pergamon, Rhodes, Sinope, and Armenia. That is a lot. And in fairness to Pergamon, they're raising new... Oh, you took Ephesus back in that turn? Yeah, last time. Oh, right. Okay, cool. I feel like I want to lock that down because I think they're just going to go up and take it. I mean, they might not, but I feel like they will. We could bring over our own army then. So our army down here is recruiting... So uh, I meant to say, just while Jackie was talking, Alliance Force, so Pergamon and Armenia are working together now against Jackie, so that's good. Uh, and Rhodes has gone to war with him as well. Uh, well, it looks like we'll be able to take Arminum back, at least. For the ninth time. I'm gonna go defensive so that we don't hopefully lose units. You can recruit Apulia Extraordinary in Italia. Yeah, I know, but we haven't got them yet. Haven't got them yet. We looked at this last time, right? And it said like I needed to build something before I got them. Ready for battle. Look at those Roman generals. Yeah, they all have like six stars. Ah, this guy doesn't actually only three. It's the lowest one I've seen. At your command. This place is gonna have a rebellion, probably. Pretty close to it, anyway. Man, I hate the way they do that. It's a salt resource here, so we need to get rid of one of these. Okay, so this army is actually gaining back some of its manpower and population or whatever, so that's good. So is this one, slightly. We have 12 grand, let's just keep building this army up. What are these guys? Libyan cavalry, oh yeah. We need to make use of elephants a bit more because I haven't been using them at all. Wow, those archers come from the... Sorry. Those archers come from the first class, the nobles. I can't look at them now because the manpower didn't quite go back, but it will next turn. Uh, that's interesting to note. I can't get them then, so I'll have to just get something else. I was planning on getting some... Everyone's pretty low now, to be honest. As uh, Vagmus pointed out, we'd have to march south if we wanted to get some fresh populations, but... I don't really have the time to do that, to be honest. And we need to make a crossing, and we don't even have our navy here. And these guys could get up to us, probably, if they stop raiding. I don't even know how we'll cross. There's a whole lot of problems. I guess I'm going to need cavalry, so we'll get one. Alright, that's the max I can recruit. Begun the Greek Wars have. The Italian Wars are over. Um, possibly so. Yeah, possibly so. I, I still don't feel like it is because we keep getting attacked and we're about to have rebellions and stuff. So we can at least start converting some of the things I think that are safe. Let's get rid of that. Let's convert this. Get rid of this building. Let's turn that into a port. Let's knock that down a peg as well. Actually, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. I'll convert it later. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do with my... I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to lock it down because I just don't want Syracuse to get it. I think it'd be crazy if we let them get it. Yeah, 
Like, we can't get it, but if they bring their troops over, at least then we can claim it. Uh, marry one of your widows to a general that doesn't need money. To recruit and get your Safet back in Carthage to regain the capital bonus. Marry one of your widows to get a general that doesn't need money. Oh, right, because we don't have any... F yeah, that's a good point. We don't have anyone free. They've all died. Uh, it's... She's Ambition 3. Let's go with her. Nice tactic. Didn't really think about that before. So, next turn, this guy will run up and just transfer. Transfer the units around, I guess. He'll be back in the capital then. Anything going on in Iberia? So, we're currently at war with the Arverni. They're actually fairly challenging. Who are we at war with? Arverni, Auski, and Vivisi. So, there's actually a decent amount of wars up there. Maybe we could send something up and liberate or raid or do something to actually make us money. Because otherwise, this army's just sitting here consuming, costing us money. Uh, maybe we could ambush. I don't know, would an ambush work that well against these guys? Not too sure, because our troop quality is not that good. I live to serve the mighty Carthage. At once! Your next command, my lord. Alright, anything else we should do? I don't know. Making just under 9,000 now. Converting and building in Italy as best we can, pretty much given the money that we have. We're recruiting that army back in, in Carthage. We sent our navy over. We have three armies in Italy. They're just super damaged. They really need to just like re-recruit and heal, to be honest, at this point. But yeah, if we were to look at, by the way, because you were saying about recruiting down here. Let's see, for those Apulians. Yeah, so we don't have... We don't have access to the Apulians yet. So to get the Apulians, we need level 3 towns. And that's why I was researching level 3 towns in the first place. Italic Late Swordsman. Is it down here? Please be down here. Hope it's not a Taurus. There they are. No, that's the Brutians. Oh shit, is it at Taurus? Syracusian Marines? Fuck, if it's at Taurus, that's annoying. Anyone know where those Apulians are? I'm not too sure. Let's just go first class, no. Second class, or tier. You need Taurus. Right, I'm just thinking, do we... How long do we have to wait if we cancel our client state with these guys? With Syracuse? Greetings, friend. Then we also need to go to war with Akragas. Greetings, friend. Greetings. Will you have wine? And that could call in Syracuse. We could also call in Panormus. They might help us in that war, which would be kind of cool. Try using the Send Diplomat, we've banned that. Because it, it can transfer towns. I really need to like figure out my plan and then just execute it in the turn so my turns are faster. Rome of... Okay, so we need to go up and just kill that, that transport fleet and then possibly even this one up there. Although we'll keep our army at Armin. I've got so ourselves a little bit of a battle. Ooh, Armenia. I hope it's a good one. Oh, I'm liking the look of this. <laughs> I'm just so scared about Armenian cavalry, man. Alright, cool. 
The army actually yeah, looks kind of really trash. Annoying, the when we good. reloaded that, reloaded the save, Pontus declared war on me, and they had an army sitting outside of the city, just glitched out or whatever. So as soon as they declared uh, war, they immediately attacked the city, which, uh, yeah, definitely fucked my border defense against Armenia. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Is that how you're attacking? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know in just a sec. Alright, cool. So it looks like these guys are pretty good. Yeah, I've got like so many different units here. It'll just take me a moment to get to recognize some of them. They're like, there's like, <laughs> there's like 10 different units in this army. Nice. Yeah, Armenia actually have one of the most diverse rosters in the game. And they recently got an update, I, I'm pretty sure. So these guys are obviously beasts. Veteran warriors specifically tasked with defending the king. Super high defense. Then we have these dudes. Not quite as good. And then these guys. Not quite as good. And then these guys. These guys are actually pretty similar, but they have good armor. So let's just move them here. I'll kind of rank them by how good they are. And then these guys are a little bit better than them. Yeah. Okay. So then for... And then we've got really good cavalry. Cataphracts. As that nobles, they're really great. Um, okay, armored horse archers. Uh, I think this, yeah, this is where I'm going to attack from. Or a large event. Kind of like that, a bit out that way as well. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. What I'm thinking of doing is these infantry, bringing them over around left, and if they can find a way in there, great. If they can find a way in there, great. I'll also bring the cavalry that way at some point. He has four cav. Oh, does he? Okay, I should have noticed that. Well, we've only got two missiles to protect, and I'll just have to use my cav against his. But I have no idea which way they're going to go. Yeah, I'm reluctant, really, actually, to be out this way in case I can just get hit by lots of cav in the back. We await your order. Noble spearmen. Order. Forever, Lord. Forever. I guess I could challenge cav out that way. All right, I'm good to go. All right, cool. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, so he's put barricades and spikes and barricades and barricades and barricades and barricades. Now, he hasn't barricaded this area. But ultimately, I kind of have to go up that way. Wow, my general just called you an eastern imposter. And he's going to show you what a real army can do. Alright, we spotted their calf. Or some of it, anyway. I don't think I'm in range of him just yet, so I'll just wait for another second to get our other guys around. I think it's more immersive to say enemy spotted. Everyone to the east wall. Mm, I feel like they'd spot them, though. That's just the thing. <laughs> it's like, what, you didn't know where they were until they were right there? I just, I don't buy it. Personally. Guessing he's bringing his cavalry around this way now because I'm moving mine out to the right. Fucking, my mouse is getting caught. Just put on the regular battle music. I don't want to be changing it during the battle. All right. What is going on with my mouse? Feels like it's stuck. Just worried about getting hit by too many missiles over this way. I want to 
approach from all sides at the same t as, as the same time as we can, as much as the same time as we can. They can start running up now. Feels weird. Our orders, our spears are yours. What are your orders? What are your orders? Spear infantry ready. Well, those guys didn't really get to fire anything. Those cavalry's out there. We can see it. You guys can't do anything until they break down that wall. Oh, they're missiles. Didn't realize. Shit. Back seats. It's fine. I can't read during the battles anyway, so it's. I really don't care. They know that. Why can't I attack this barricade? There we go. Also, I don't mind people giving advice, but they know it. They know I can't read it most of the time, anyway. God, these barricades take so long. Just hoping they don't hurt me too much. I don't know. Yeah, so he is guarding his back as well there. Alright, I didn't realize they were missiles, so we'll have to just pull back in for a sec, but it's okay. I don't know what I can do attacking Phalanx from the front when I don't have any missiles. Not too sure how I could ever really punch through, you know? Can't engage those guys. I don't know what to do about it. 
Either throw my cav into front line of spears or chase, you know, skirmish cav forever. Like, what, what else can I do? <laughs> it's fucking annoying as shit. They've thrown their volleys. This is all barricaded anyway. They actually can't recharge me too much here with their own stakes in place. All I can do is try to keep up some pressure out there. And see if I can actually engage. If I could engage, that'd be great. We could tie them to pin them down maybe. It's just phalanx, like what can I do? <laughs> I can't get around on the sides. No. Oh, well. Isn't very much chat full stop. That's a lie. I read everything. I just read it. Disjointed and late. Hey, you do all this move and press Alt? No, you just hold left click and then you just. You left click and drag and then you hold control to rotate. If you do that with multiple, they'll keep their formation. I don't know, I'm like tempted to pull out and just like retreat because, like, what can I do? Like, I don't know what to do. All I have is spears. My cavalry can't exactly achieve much. The Seleucid hoplites. Playing hell at this after this. Yeah, I was thinking of actually streaming it. Because I don't know what else to do. Am I allowed to retreat? I, I'm not sure uh, yeah, what I can right. do here, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty great though. The light cavalry just fucking ruins. Well, it's just like I don't have any missiles, so attacking any phalanx is kind of impossible, isn't it? Like, what can what can you do? Oh well, yeah, I guess you, maybe yeah. I have no missile, so nothing I can really do. I don't want to just hit triple speed. At least fight his cav. I'm trying to, but he's he won't, he won't engage me with his missile cav, and I'm trying. I was I was fighting that cav, and I'm still chasing it. So. It's just not much I can do. I mean, he's just going to wipe this army out anyway in the auto-resolve. But it's better than just charging them into phalanx. Watching them die. Yeah. Next banner, nothing I could really do. Well, there, I mean, in this one, there really isn't. I mean, I could just sit here and...
charge into phalanxes and try pull through maybe to get to the archers but if he can if he can phalanx every area uh not too sure how my spears would ever get through if i had some really hard hitting melee infantry maybe it's not like he has pikes he just has phalanx but still And if I had some missiles, you know, we could sit back and fire it. I fired all my... Well, I don't know if I fired everything, but... All my slinger... My, my javelins died as they were running up, because he prioritized them first. But I only had two units. Like, one javelins, one slinger, so... These guys were uh, caught up here. Uh, it's basically suicide. Uh, that's something you really wish for the older games. They just update the movement and key commands. Yeah, I agree with that. The really old ones. Off for now. See you later. Keep it the back seating. You're doing great. That's fine. I don't mind it. What else are gonna people say, other than say like, "Hey, you should do this." Awesome. <laughs> nice viewer count. I can't even see it. Oh, it was 69, was it? These streams are getting less and less views. To be honest. My sub goal is getting smaller and smaller. Might be the end of DEI. Uh, in future. In my opinion, that battle is winnable. <laughs> Oats. Armenia should have some really strong armies. I hope I hope they muster something a bit better than this in future. Something a bit more balanced. Wasn't even a full stack. Strange thing to assault a town with. Like when I was in Italy, Rome were deploying full stack legions with like tons of uh, spears in them. Uh, Kikuma Bungaboo redeemed Feed the Plebs. Bitmark and Scuba are already there. Giving out the bread. If you have ROP pleb, the emote, consider throwing some bread to the plebs. Did I lose? Yeah, well, I retreated out because it's just impossible to win fighting a phalanx head on with no missiles. So I decided to rather save the army and pull them out rather than commit the whole thing to it. Just no point. I can't, I couldn't engage his cavalry because they're missile cavalry. So he couldn't, couldn't engage his cavalry. And then uh, his entire. Uh, sorry, he had um, way more missile superiority than me. I only had two missile units. So when my missiles were gone, it was a tactical retreat indeed. Yeah, you have to remember, like I always say this, but you're playing against a player, like... He's covering his, his four streets in with his phalanx, and he's not engaging my cavalry. Like, what, what can you do? Unless you have, unless I had missiles or more missile cavalry, one or the other, there was no way I could uh, gain an upper hand in that. So at the end of the day, it's like, well, I could just throw everything in and just wait and die. Or maybe this army will do something if they get out. And I still made a try. Like, we have a, a kind of a gentleman's agreement as well about, like, you don't just go into a battle and say, well, this isn't for me and pull out of the battle. Like, retreat the army. I made a go of it and I just couldn't find a way through. So we pulled back, so... That's just the way it is. But for me, I'm not very good at Carthage, I guess. I've been fighting Rome, so it's been a bit of a challenge for me, but it's never been oh, like got a that even. Serious battle now. Nice. I'm hearing some clicking going on. Yeah, just looking looking at the naval. setup. Oh, it's not naval. Okay, cool. No, it's a uh, joint. My, uh, my land army is pretty beaten up, though. Garrison is destroyed. Garrison fleet's pretty destroyed, and his pikes are half strength. Got them silver hulls, and what's the deal? Oh, I'm attacking you. Okay, I see. Yeah, you're sieging at Ephos. Ephesus. Land the fleet. 
Yeah, my goal is to be is going to be to land the fleet because this fleet's bigger. His goal is going to be to make sure I don't. It'll be an interesting one. It's going to be a big battle. I don't think I'll be able to land the fleet. He's going to block it straight up. I mean, we could try and get over here and land as much as we can, but then I feel like he will kill a few of the ships that we have. Unless we land them in two different places. Actually, we could probably land out here, thinking about it. But my army then comes in from the other side of the town. This might work, though. So I think I'll try, like, land, maybe we could land a bit more. Something like this, land that many out this way and land these ones out the other way. Would that work? Might work. Kind of risky. Trying to slam them down that way. Bring your army and then land. Nope, gonna land immediately. Because I've just, I've, I feel like I have too much experience in this unless you're thinking of something that I'm not. I'm ready to go now that there's not enough slots to land your entire fleet he will just bunch he will slam his fleet against me against like the red lion to completely wipe them so if they're split he can try to get both at the same time but i feel like i've got enough slots that they will land on both sides so you might be like oh well what if he marches out and goes for one army he could do that i'll get into the town before he will then if he wants to send uh, a force out to fight me like that that might happen where he might send cavalry out and stuff and really hurt us but not worried about it these are all missiles, so these are in danger, but they're coming in they're coming right in where my army is, so I think it's okay. Why not take the naval battle for practice? Why would I waste No, his army his naval battle his navy is bigger than mine, better than mine, and they have better hulls than mine. It's not practice practice is a custom battle on my own. I'm not wasting uh an army, a fleet in the campaign for right, practice. Okay. So those ones are probably going to die. But at least these ones can land. How many ships does he have? I wonder if we could expend our ammo and try not to land, actually. What I can do is actually just send one out and block him. <laughs> and these ones will probably land then. I'm trying to think, can I pull off a ram on this? Now he's gonna turn now. Three of them might make it, maybe. There's no point even pr trying to ram. They won't kill anything. They won't kill anything. You just need to get around them. Cause he, we need to hit him like three times to break his ships. It's chill music right now, by the way. I'll make it. Well, Rip. That's why I was saying if I deployed my whole army this side or e either side, he would have just he would have crushed them. Would have crushed them. Not bad. Only three went down. Three out of the whole navy is not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Now we've got a little melee force coming in from this side of the town. He's dropping his fleet, his army there. I need to get a move on then. Sorry for the lag, I mean, it's just nothing I can do about it. Shoot them from the shore a bit. 
Not worth it. I can use the ammo better in the town. He'll have phalanx in the town and stuff that I'd be much more interested in killing. Now it's basically a race to get in. I'm sure he has some stuff in there, but his garrison's really weak. I want to stay away from that coast while he has his uh, archers out there. Got too much range. Oh shit. Sending his uh, garrison out, I guess. I mean, I guess he has to. Shit, it was actually pretty good on my shock cavalry, though. Don't fire. Don't fire your weapons. Oh, it's pretty chaotic, despite it being a small battle. Citizen militia, man, they're so fast. I can't believe they got up to me that fast. the army's now in a second. LA troops awaiting orders. Yours to command. Really wish we had more cav. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm basically trying to bring this cavalry along this way to engage or fight those dudes. Got tons of missiles out here that we need to be firing in on them. I thought we were hidden, but I guess we're not fully hidden. Hopefully we can bring that cavalry up quick enough. And this cavalry is coming out this way to deal with those missiles. He's leaving his missiles pretty undefended here, so my cavalry can do really great work in a second if we can just get them in. He sees it now. God, this is so much, it's such a mess because we're fighting on two fronts. It's so fucking annoying.
Yeah, he's running all that stuff in now. I need to give chase to it though. I'm sure I can get to them though, I'll have to keep an eye on it. This guy's actually gonna get wrecked I think. Oh my god. Alright. What are we fighting here? They seem to be actually quite good. Rush the town. No, he's got stuff behind me. I don't want to do that. Why, why would I rush it anyway? There's no hurry. He's in it now, so there's no hurry. I don't think so. Alright. So that'll be all of that group done. Now we've got our missile, so now I need to actually organize the army. <laughs> Once they're basically done doing this. Look left. Reinforcements coming. Oh. I didn't know that. I assumed he was in the town. Pretty fully. Assuming he doesn't have cavalry, does he? Oh, he does. Uh, because the fleet started the battle, the armies come in as reinforcements. Oh, I thought he had an army in the town. They would be in the town if that was the case. Oh my god. Alright, uh, they only took out one unit, it's not that bad. Multiple, okay. A gamer cavalry. Missiles are waiting. Ready and waiting. Ready and waiting. Quick march. Archers. It's an interesting battle just because there's so many like little fronts to it. Archers. Advance at speed. 
And he's kind of coming out of the town now, actually. We've got a cavalry unit here. What a mess, though. This feels so fucking laggy as well for me. And I just can't, like, understand what I've even got. Let's get some of these guys in, in order somewhat. There is something shooting me from behind, that cavalry. This could work out actually really well. When we bring that cavalry down the street. Oh, he sees it, damn. <laughs> it's such a mess. I think it's really fun though. God, the cavalry here is decimated. Why is he sending in missiles against me like that? I don't know. Oh, is he trying to get more reinforcements in all the time? Is that what's going on? That might be the case. Maybe that's why he's sacrificing units. Shit. God, what a mess. <sighs> Gotta just defend with these guys as best as I can, basically. They're, pin they're pinching me, though. What is that? Oh, he's got artillery. Citizen cavalry. We await your command. Citizen cavalry. 
quickly now! Tough Ready and waiting! At your service! Break the lamp! Bloody glory! Bloody! Guys are probably dead. Well, I'm still going. I'm gonna kite and fall back with them. God, I wish I had more cav. Damn, we barely killed any of them. Fuck, we're gonna kill two? It. How much time do we have? 22 minutes. Damn, not looking too good now. Yeah, I tried to kill the RD, but I couldn't. To come on. I need to try and push, fight my way out that way. Fuck, man. I'm gonna try pull in, but run into the city with these guys, because, yeah, it's not looking good out there. I can't believe he held me with that shitty castle there for so long. If I could just get near that entrance and go into some sort of formation, that'd be great. Yeah, I wish I knew about those reinforcements, because that would have changed how I played. Alright guys, fuck this, just move, 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 move. Any ammo left? Got a little bit. Like we're only fighting like pretty bad infantry, but it's just they're so bad from the front, like at, at advancing. Might have to hold there for a second to get our general in. I think I just killed their general, actually. Yes.
Those units are stuck outside now. So this is the current situation. <laughs> it is kind of messed up. Let's see if we can engage that general. Oh, that guy's gone. Damn. Doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Sorry that I haven't been able to talk very well or know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a pretty messy, messy battle. It was fun though. It's just so all over the place. I didn't realize that he had people just constantly funneling in from outside. I wish I was aware of that. That would have made a lot more sense. That's why, obviously, he sent people out to die, so he could get his reinforcements in. I didn't realize that. I would have, I would have avoided them and changed how I played completely if, if I realized that from the beginning. Yeah, I obviously would have made like a beeline for the town if I had known that. I just assumed his army was in the town, so I was like, oh, I'll kill what's outside and then go in. But I didn't realize, oh, outside doesn't end. It just keeps coming. Every unit you kill gets replaced. I didn't know that. He outboxed me? I'm not sure if he outboxed me. He did outnumber me, though, I think. In terms of how much... I just didn't know. <laughs> I just didn't know. I just thought the army was in the town. When I looked at it in the deployment screen, I was like, oh, he's got a full stack that's going to be sitting in the town. I didn't expect him to come from outside the town. That was the uh, real big unexpected thing. But that's it. GG, anyway. It was fun. Ugh. Jesus Christ, what a horrible battle. <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't know you were coming in from outside the town. I didn't know until like halfway through. It wasn't really until the artillery was there, I was like, oh, his I reinforcements are coming in. Well, I thought your army would coming. just be in the town. Isn't that Yeah, the way me too. But I think it's the unit cap. We discovered like five minutes into the battle that because I had a garrison and navy, the army stayed off right. because it was 40 units. So that's why I charged out the garrison to get them killed. Then yeah. I was super scared. They would just die. I mean, you just turn and kind of face me. But I guess you noticed it's a little bit too late. Yeah, yeah. I had like my camera towards the town the whole time and I just didn't realize. I was like, how are you getting a unit behind me a few times? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> and then I was like, I kind of turned around. I was like, oh shit, he's got artillery there. And then they all kind of like faded in. I was like, oh, like they're filtering in. I see. Yeah, I guess the way that <laughs> the, uh, the line of sight, sight works in DEI as well, but like you have to be kind of close to them. Yeah. You probably just didn't see them coming on your Yeah, mind, no so. idea. I mean, I hated it. I would have much rather been <laughs> the city with my army, you know. I still thought that was fun, though. It was just it was, so it was much maneuvering. Battle. It was fun because it was scrappy. But if yeah. I would have lost that battle because of that, I would have been pissed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, had I known someone was coming in, like, to the side of the town like that, I just would not have stayed out of the town that long. I just assumed... Uh, hang on one sec. Because we've done battles where you send your garrison out just to die because they just take up UI space and there's like a few hundred of them or whatever. And it's like, yeah, you just want to be a little bit more compact. Like, we've both done that. So I just assumed that's what he was doing. I was like, ah, oh, just sending out these little packet units. Did not get the scope of that situation. I wish I had just a little bit more cavalry. I probably would have noticed what was going on a bit quicker had I got a little bit more time, uh, like, able to scout out that direction. It feels like his line of sight was just so much better than mine, because he was able to see my missiles from so far away, but I couldn't see his for so long. His garrison obviously completely died, and so did his garrison fleet. He lost two cav units and six units in total from his main army. Not great. This Pergamon got wiped. <laughs> 